Experts speculate about Tesla's genuine valuation in light of the company's stock price's meteoric rise to over $1,000 last year and subsequent precipitous fall this year. While some may think the stock price excessive for an automaker, others may defend it. What's up with the high cost of a Tesla share? Is it wise to invest in Tesla? Is it true that Tesla is overpriced or underpriced? In this video, we'll discuss the contents of a letter produced by one of the world's major financial services corporations, which suggests that Tesla stock is not as pricey as it may seem, and we'll also hear from financial experts on the topic. Analyst Dan Levy recently published a note to investors for the international financial services and investment firm Credit Suisse. According to Dan Levy, this analysis goes into detail on why the authors are positive on Tesla and confident that the stock price will reach their price goal. Profit margins for Tesla have improved, helped in large part by the company's efforts to cut expenses. We think the healthy profits can be maintained. By avoiding the chip shortage catastrophe, Tesla has shown that it is more adaptable than initially thought. Elon Musk has claimed that the corporation has found workarounds to using practically impossible to find chips. Herbert Dees, CEO of Volkswagen Group, claims that it would take Tesla only a few weeks to update the software for a new chip. Tesla's ability to quickly adapt and overcome obstacles, like as the global semiconductor shortage, is undoubtedly due in large part to the company's concentration on software and vertical integration. We are confident that this degree of creativity and adaptability will result in significant financial savings and stable profit margins. Legacy. He also noted that there have been clear moves by OEMs toward the eventual adoption of electric vehicles. Still, Tesla is the frontrunner and is likely to stay that way for the foreseeable future. It's not surprising that people think that way, as Tesla is widely regarded as an industry leader at the moment. The document also noted that, up until this point, Tesla's profits have been largely based on the sale of vehicles, with some limited software benefits, particularly for fully autonomous driving capabilities. When Tesla completes more full self-driving features and releases more deferred revenue, the company expects to realize a positive contribution margin advantage of 100%. However, Elon Musk has been promising a self-driving automobile to his customers since at least 2016. Many Tesla employees and customers are able to put the company's new and unfinished driver aid capabilities through its paces on public roads in the United States thanks to Tesla's full self-driving beta, or FSD beta, effort. Some investors are losing faith in the company since it has not yet fulfilled this promise. We continue to have a positive outlook on Tesla. While we acknowledge the company's difficulty to evaluate due to its fluctuating short-term indicators, we continue to hold that Tesla has the potential to become a big automaker with much higher margins. We believe that Tesla is the only automaker with a really unique offering, a highly valuable brand, and the ability to innovate at a far faster pace than the competitors. According to the note, Credit Suisse has faith in the electric vehicle manufacturer for two main reasons. To begin, the data on the Model S's efficiency is encouraging. Within this price range in the United States, Model S captured 25% of the market in 2015. The combined S or X model would sell over 200,000 vehicles and would imply a price tag of more than $800,000 in the Model 3 price range, as Tesla noted in a table in its press release, reiterating a point we've made before. It has substantially outpaced its rivals in the sit-in and SUV sectors. Their second argument is that Model S has recently been recognized as the best option available. When pitted against the BMW 750, Mercedes S65, AMG, and Infiniti Q50S, with and without a driver, in a semi-autonomous driving test. It is shocking to learn that Elon Musk didn't start hiring engineers for Tesla until September of 2013. We estimate that rivals have been honing this capability for at least 10 years, the report said. This is what the specialists say. Tesla has been at the vanguard of the secular shift to electric vehicles for decades. They anticipate that between 2022 and 2024, Tesla's car sales would climb while the company's profit margins will remain stable. Their projected profits are 25% more than the average estimate on Wall Street. In terms of attractive development path, 
top line and earnings per share disruption, pollution reduction, and so on, I find it difficult to identify a stock that compares well to Tesla, as Mr. Lev. As new quarters of higher earnings per share are added, financial experts feel the price-slash-earnings-to-growth ratio may be a better gauge of Tesla's worth due to the company's rapid development. As unprofitable quarters are eliminated, the price-to-profits ratio drops precipitously. Divide the price-to-earnings ratio of the company by its earnings per share growth rate to get the price-to-earnings growth ratio. Tesla had a phenomenal year of growth last year, and it needs to repeat that success this year if it wants to keep its current market cap. The price-to-earnings growth ratio contradicts the opinion of those who believe the company is inexpensive. Stocks with a price-to-earnings growth ratio above 1 are considered expensive. Therefore, Tesla's current ratio of 3.5 implies that the stock is overvalued. While Tesla's price-to-earnings-to-growth ratio is lower than that of certain value stocks, the company is more often classified as a growth corporation. General Electric and American Waterworks currently have a price-to-earnings-growth ratio of 6.6 .6 and 4.59, respectively. When compared to other automotive companies, Tesla's price-to-earnings-growth ratio is higher than typical, leading some to argue that the company is overvalued. Although it is best known as a car maker, Tesla has been compared to other types of technology companies. They've seemingly morphed into an artificial intelligence robot manufacturing company. Any defensible valuation of a company must have this included in. Despite this, many experts in the equity market either ignore or try to change this reality by saying it has nothing to do with their studies. Those who believe that AI-assisted driving is more than just a lovely add-on for a gorgeous car argue this misconception has caused Tesla shares to be valued at half what they should be. It completely changes how we think about and experience cars. As more and more specialists come to agree with this assessment, the conventional wisdom about Tesla may begin to change. In the following years, the stock price may double. In grounds of innovation, environmental consciousness, and market undervaluation, Credit Suisse has decided to elevate Tesla to outperform. This message was followed by a blog post by Loop Ventures managing partner Doug Clinton, who argued that Tesla was overpriced. The price of a Tesla is through the roof. The quality of their products isn't the issue, though. The question is whether or not the current price of the stock reflects the potential for future growth. The current price of Tesla does not seem to reflect reasonable odds of a substantial future return. There is no safety buffer built into the price. He said that a margin of safety means he can acquire an asset at a price where something may go wrong and he still wouldn't lose too much money. However, the stock price has continued to drop. On the 17th of February, it closed at $876.35, down 5.09% from its previous finish on the 16th of February at $923.39. The odds of Tesla stock going up in the next month are high. Of the 71 times in the recent decade when its stock price dropped by 21% or more in just 21 days, 69% of those drops were followed by gains in the following month's trading. Based on its past performance, buying Tesla stock next month would be a good idea, since the company's stock has a 65% chance of increasing in the coming month. Dan Levy and Trevor Young both still recommend buying the stock at $1,025. Strong fundamentals ahead and the stocks being caught in the market collapse lead us to anticipate it will bounce back, they said. This makes sense given that other major automakers are also facing stock price declines, albeit smaller ones compared to Tesla's. There was a caveat in the study that said, we could be wrong. In contrast to the 7% underperformance of growth companies like Tesla so far this year, value stocks have outperformed growth stocks by 12% so far this year. Since a favorable outlook on Tesla requires a long-term valuation, the possibility of rising rates putting pressure on secular growers is a risk to our call. This perspective was echoed by Fundstrat Global, which in a previously released analysis, argued that Tesla is still a crucial long-term investment. Because of the groundwork they've set in autonomous driving, we expect them to continue to be a frontrunner as the market for electric vehicles expands. Is Credit Suisse right that Tesla is now underpriced? Leave a comment below.